Okay, so what is up everyone? This is Karen here. Welcome back to Tech Karen YouTube channel. As you can see, I've installed the Evolution X OS, which is based on Android version 10, the Android 10 based custom on my device. But yes, it's good for daily use or you can say perfect for daily use. Android 11 is good, but Android 10 right now is far more great than Android version 11. After using it for some time, I finally got to know that Android 10 is far more great. That's why I'm using it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro. Maybe this build is available for your device also but I thought I should share my opinions with you that why I like this build a lot on my device. I'm using Redmi Note 9 Pro here. This one is Evolution X which is actually Google Apps included build which has all those pixel goodies and a lot more things. If you don't know about Evolution X you can search for the, search for it on Google and find it easily. It comes with the pixel apps so yes it has the pixel launcher pre-installed based on Android version 10 and yes as I previously told you Android version 10 is far more great than Android version 11. I'm using it from some time and didn't got any kind of major issues. I tried to use the 4G, 4G plus hotspot, Wi-Fi, everything was perfectly working fine. I'm using I'm using the official version. Evolution X comes with its own wallpapers app. So this is a very cool kind of thing about this Evolution X room. It comes with its own wallpaper app. So yes, it has a lot more cool, interesting wallpapers already available. For example, if you want to apply this wallpaper, you'll see all those features available. You can simply add it to favorites. You can simply apply it on your device or you can save it on your device. That's just up to you. And this wallpaper app does not come with any kind of ads or whatever else. And if you're looking to install good kind of wallpaper on your device, you you don't need to install any third party app for that so this is a very interesting kind of thing also it has almost everything which you were expecting in a custom room so this is interesting one it comes with all those cool kind of customizations it comes with interesting features the dark theme at Sikra is perfectly working fine and in Android version 10 based custom room the dark theme plays a very important role it is working in almost every other apps also and as you can see dark theme right now is working perfectly fine here too Battery stats are also quite good. I am using it from past 24, maybe more than 24 hours and as you can see these are my battery stats right now. These are just great kind of battery stats and I personally love this a lot. I tried to use some other apps also which were working perfectly fine so that's why I was using it from some time and it's great and I thought I should share with you. The dark theme at Sikta is working perfectly fine here. Let me share with you some other things about this Evolution X latest build. Not actually latest one but yes Android 10 build. It has all those features like mobile network was also work perfectly working fine. I just removed the sim card, the 4G etc. Everything was working, Wi-Fi calling, Volte etc. Everything was working fine here too. It doesn't come with a notification history option because that was introduced in Android version 11. That was great there. And if you go for the display settings, yes, I am using brightness level with more than 75% and with that thing, the battery backup seems to be really interesting one. It comes with three extra styles or including one default one. It has the four styles already available. It has extra customizations options available. You can create your own style like the fonts and you can customize the icons. Everything, uh, everything is kind of great. It's just up to you. you can customize the ASN color also. For example, if you want to enable this, click on next, choose icon shape, click on next and apply. And this is applying without any kind of issues. As you can see, the fonts are applied successfully. These things are quite great here. As you can see, the quick settings panel is looking good also. If you're looking for other things, let me share with you some other things about this build. If you go for the privacy options, it has one lack of feature, but let me show you an interesting feature about this, which is called Show Clipboard Access Toast. This is interesting. Whenever an app will access your clipboard, it will give you the toast for that or you can see toast warning. So this is very interesting thing. But autofill service doesn't include the password protection for the credentials, which is a very good feature in Android version 11. Some things, of course, are missing, but Android version 11 some has some kind of lags, not much, but yes, kind of lags. But in Android version 10, you'll not see any kind of lags, especially with this latest Evolution X. It has all those features, blur behind the quick settings. If this option you would enable in Android version 11, you need to reboot your device, but in Android version 10, you don't need to reboot your device. It also comes with the status bar customizations. As you can see, status bar also has very interesting and cool kind of customizations options available, and all those important customizations options are available, Volte, Wofi, etc., and other things are fine too. Moving on to other things, let me share with you about extra things about this build. Like if you go for the gesture, it comes with the gesture navigation and it has these extra options for your gesture customization. You need to just enable these options and you'll be able to use on your device. Swipe to screenshot at Sikta is working fine too. 
these were the things i just wanted to let you know on my device and let me talk about other things wait uh, let me share with you the magisk status i'm using magisk 21.4 here which is working perfectly fine and if you go for the safety net status this might be the issue for some of the users i uh, i was not able to pass the safety net status but yes, it's up to you because I was using Magisk 21.4. You can use the Magisk other version to pass the safety net status and it should pass definitely. In my case, it's not passing, but I don't use banking apps mostly. I use Paytm etc., which was working perfectly fine. So I didn't thought that I should change this. It also comes with the Gcam pre-installed for the Redmi Note 9 Pro users or you can say me at all users. So this is a very cool kind of advantage. It has a Gcam pre-installed with all those interesting features working perfectly fine these were the things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this as always don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye